to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at midpoint and how to find midpoint. Okay, we're going to look at it two different ways. The first way is via a graph and the second way is by formula. Okay, let's look at the graph. I've graphed the point negative 2, positive 2 and the other point 2, negative 1. And we're going to find the midpoint of the segment. Well, if I connect these two points together, I can kind of estimate my midpoint's going to be about here, isn't it? That's midpoint just means halfway. Now I'm going to show you graphically how to do this. I'm going to draw a right triangle. So I'm going to take the point A and I'm going to dot it down until I get even with point B. Then I'm going to go across until I get over to point A. Now I've created a right triangle. This side over here is three units. This side is one, two, three, four units. I'm going to take half of each side, so half of three is one and a half, and half of four is two. So I take half of each side, and I go one and a half here, and two here, and then I see where those two meet, and that gives me my midpoint. There you go. So I've created like a little rectangle inside of this right triangle. That's the graphical way, if you like graphs. Now let's look at the formula way. Okay, I've got the point negative 2, 2, and the point 2, negative 1. And I'm going to label these x1, y1, x2, y2. This is my first ordered pair. This is my second order pair. Then I'm going to plug it into my formula. I'm going to take x1 plus x2 and divide it by 2. So I add my two x coordinates together and I divide by 2. So negative 2 plus 2 over 2 is 0 over 2 or just 0. Then I'm going to do the same thing with my y coordinates. 2 plus negative 1 all over 2. 2 plus negative 1 is positive 1. 1 over 2 is just a half. So that means my ordered pair is at 0, 1 half. And that's my midpoint. So let's look at the rules of midpoint. Okay, we have two methods. Graphing. Draw your right triangle. Then find half of each side then you just connect those back to see exactly where that point is. Or the formula. We did x1 plus x2 divided by 2, so you average the two x coordinates. y1 plus y2, add those two together to get the y coordinate. Hope this was helpful.